This is CineDock, a very simple docking solution that you can connect to your camera and easily swap in and out SSD drives for longer run times. It can be mounted to the side of your camera. It has slots in the middle with mounting hardware to install on just about anything. It is specifically designed to work with popular SSD portable drives and the fit and finish is really nice on all of these. The USB-C cable that is included and installed is user replaceable. So if it becomes damaged down the road, you can simply remove a plate, swap it out, change lengths, and modify this as needed. At launch, there are five popular portable SSDs supported with more on the way. So now let's talk about what comes in the box. Out of the box, you're going to have CineDock itself with the cable pre-installed. Also included with the kit, there are two Allen keys and two screws for mounting. To install CineDock, simply take the little screws that are included go into the dock and drop them into the slots. There are two slots, one on each side, so you can mount this like this or like this and control where the cable spits out on your rig or camera. And we'll go over some different rigging options here in a little bit. When it comes to compatibility, you just need to make sure that your camera can record to USB-C SSDs and then look up whichever SSDs are going to be best and most appropriate for your camera. So make sure you check the manufacturer's website and that when you connect this to your camera and connect a drive, you format it so that it'll work. Another note is that some SSDs don't have the jack centered. So this T5 actually has this connector off to one side. It's not perfectly centered. So sometimes you'll go to plug it in and it won't fit. Simply flip it the other direction and you'll be good to go. Some SSDs like this SanDisk have it off to one side. So you'll need to make sure you figure out where the connector is and install it on the appropriate side. Here is a very basic setup. We have the camera with a cage installed and I've bolted the cine dock directly to the cage with a screw or two with the cable plugged in. So at this point, I can simply grab my SSD drive, plug it in, and now I'm ready to go ahead and film. If I fill up a card for whatever reason, I can take it out, grab another one, reinsert it and go back to filming very quickly. So very minimal, very simple, and using a cage is really easy because you have so many different mounting points. You could also use some kind of device between the cine dock and the cage itself. For example, here is a very simple little device that has a NATO clamp with a couple different mounting points. Check the product page for a link to where you can pick one of these up. But in short, we can go ahead and using those two quarter 20 threads, we will attach our cine dock using the two silver screws and Allen key that come with it. Again, I'm going to simply drop the screws inside of the dock and into that slot and tighten it down onto the adapter, making sure I don't over tighten. And now we have a NATO clamp with a tightening knob that can be ratcheted out of the way. And we can go ahead and attach this to our camera. On this cage, there's NATO rails here and on top. So I can go ahead and slide this like so, lock it in place. That's one place I could put it and I can adjust it as necessary so that's not bad right there or i could loosen it and go ahead and put it on the top of the camera facing forward like that so several different ways we could also mount it on this side if we want the cable going out the other direction lots of different ways to configure cine back using adapters like this and again we'll have information on the product page as to other accessories that are compatible here i have another setup but this time we're using cine back for the panasonic lumix s52x and i have mounted our cine dock right up here on top of the camera. So we're going through the cine dock into this top plate here. Still plenty of room for the handle. And now we can take, in this case, the version for uh, of cine dock for the T7 Shield. I can simply insert my SSD, still have access to my battery. And now I can run this thing forever and simply grab my SSD when I'm done, swap it out, go ahead and throw another one in there when ready and we're ready to rock and roll. Here is another cine back build, but this time I've started to add our hardware mounting kit for cine back. And we're going to take the cine dock and install it using our cheese plate setup. So here is another one of the parts that comes with the mounting hardware kit for cine back. And you can see, we can simply throw it on the side here, 
quickly add it and remove it at the end of the day. And it gives us a nice big cheese plate on the side of our rig for all kinds of different accessories. But we can also install cine back or cine dock rather onto this thing. So what I've done is I've taken the cheese plate and I've added right in this center three eighths, the three eighths to quarter 20 adapter that comes with this kit. Now we can take our cine dock and install it right here. Again, I've put the screws in that center slot and we'll tighten it up without tightening it too much. And now we're ready to install it. We've got our longer cable in this instance so it can run uh, further since we're going to have this mounted further away. We'll go ahead and install it right there. Lock it down in place. I'll run the cable through cine back and we'll go ahead and plug it into the camera just like that. Now I can open the door of cine back and take all the excess cable, get it nicely tucked away without creasing or bending the cable. I'll close the side door there and now we have our camera ready to rock and roll so it's going to block the grip a little bit but if you're more of a cine shooter this thing is going to be awesome to be able to grab our ssd mag go ahead and lock it in place and now we're ready to go out and film we've got tons of runtime on this bad boy now to remove everything we just simply loosen these two knobs on the accessory kit and we're able to take this whole thing throw it in a bag uh, dismantle it as needed so just another way to mount an ssd cine dock to your camera rig another method to mount your cine dock is to use something like you see here again this is our mounting kit which is available on the store we've got a cheese plate with a rod block attached i have added a quarter 20 to 3 8 thread and now we can simply mount the cine dock right there using one of our screws so i will insert it and go ahead and use the allen key to tighten it down in this case i only need one screw since it's seated on top of this rod block here at the bottom. And now we could mount this to the back of a 50 millimeter rod setup, and we still have this entire side of the cheese plate to be able to mount something like a battery plate, like this one here from Blindspot. There I have it mounted, so now we have our SSD mount on one side, our cine dock, and then on the other side, we can go ahead and grab our battery plate and add it and send power. We still have room on here for other accessories. So this whole thing could slide on the back of a camera. Now let's talk about replacing the cable that is installed with CineDoc. So this is user replaceable and we have two options on the store with more to come. So the one that is currently installed inside of CineDoc is going to be this, which is 10 inches long. By the time it's fully installed, it's more like eight inches. And then we also have a 20 inch cable which is gonna give you a lot more rigging options if you're going to be using something like Cineback. But regardless of whatever cable you use, the process is the same. You're going to take the smaller Allen key that comes with the kit, and you're going to remove these two lower screws. At this point, you can remove this little cover here and slide out the original USB-C cable. With that done, we can set it aside. And in this case, I'm going to use the longer cable. You're going to reinsert it, make sure it's fully seated. Then you can go ahead and add back that door. At this point, it's probably a good idea to, before attaching those screws, go ahead and insert your drive and make sure that it is connected. Then you can go ahead and tighten up those two screws without going too tight, of course. And now you have a fresh, long or new cable if something does happen to your cable and it gets damaged. If you're having issues where your SSD is not seating properly or it's not connecting into the little USB-C connector inside of CineDoc, there's a couple things you can try. First, try flipping your SSD around the other way. For example, here I have a T5 drive. Sometimes these drives do not fit in one direction. So try flipping it around to the other side and see if that solves your problem. If it doesn't, you can go ahead and remove these two screws on the front of Cine Dock. And with those loosened, you can remove the plate. Then this cable will be a little more loose and you'll actually be able to stick your SSD in. And then once it's installed, go ahead and replace the cover tighten the screws down with the SSD install, and that should take care of your problem. So that is CineDoc, a simple solution for connecting portable SSDs to your camera. Learn more at camerafoundry.com. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in our next product video.